While the Wisconsin Election Commission continues to go rogue in the past year, they spent $600,000 in taxpayer dollars to design illegal ballot envelopes. Now, Judge James Morrison has just issued a temporary restraining order banning Wisconsin from putting out these illegal ballot envelopes. Under Wisconsin law, if you request an absentee ballot, you must include a signed copy of your absentee ballot request with your mail-in ballot. Wisconsin Election Commission has just taken a step to bypass that law and allow absentee voters to sign the envelope itself. Here's the new envelope with the section to sign falsely stating that the envelope itself is your absentee ballot request when in fact you had to have done a separate request to even receive the ballot. So by issuing these envelopes and allowing people to just falsely sign and say this is my request for the ballot, it is bypassing the law causing the voter to break the law and it also opens the door for more fraud because if someone can just sign saying this envelope with my ballot is the request and not actually show when they did request, they may never have requested it. There's no more chain of custody showing that the ballot was legitimately sent to the correct person. This judge fortunately has this temporary restraining order temporarily halting the Wisconsin Election Commission's flagrant disrespect for election law. The judge is scheduled to make a final judgment on this case on June 5th. Take a listen to what attorneys Kevin Scott and Dan Eastman said in a press conference about this case today. These attorneys represent the plaintiff. Now the problem with these envelopes is that they force voters under penalty of law to make a false statement. That false statement is the envelope in which they're returning an absentee ballot is a copy of the application for the absentee ballot. It's the most ridiculous, absurd statement you could make. A million people that are using these absentee ballot return envelopes, either by mail or when you go to your clerk's office to vote, and you're making a false statement. And your ballot can't be counted unless you make a false statement. Well, that's what we had, we took to court, and of course the judge has issued a temporary restraining order. So at this point in Wisconsin, the only way that you can vote is in person at a polling place because you can't use the envelope until WEC fixes the envelope or, you know, unless the judge pulls the, uh, the TRO. So the point is, we have a state agency that's simply out of control. Wisconsin statutes specifically provide that if you do not, if an absentee ballot that is cast in violation of any of the rules of absentee balloting shall not be counted and shall not be included in any certified count.